Hi beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is a collective reading for anybody and everybody who clicks on this video. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath together. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. Somebody could have a black dog. There's been a dog barking for like five minutes now and I feel like some of you have a black dog or something about dogs barking is significant it's going to be a sign for somebody in this reading i'm also hearing the number five and i'm getting something about five years i saw the number 29 i'm getting something about the name jeremiah or jebediah i'm also hearing isaiah and isaac those names could be significant i don't know exactly where this reading is going to go but i'm going to give you some messages today from your guides and I was hearing something about the word jealous, and then I channeled the song Jealous by Labyrinth. And the lyrics I was getting were, I'm jealous of the way you're happy without me. And so then I had to listen to the whole song, right? And the part that really stuck out to me was, I wished you all the best that life could give. And I told you when you left me, there's nothing to forgive. I wish you the best of all that life can give. And I told you when you left me, there's nothing to forgive. But I always thought you'd come back, tell me all you found was heartbreak and misery it's hard for me to say i'm jealous of the way you're happy without me spirit said i could sing it better than i could tell it to you so i had to sing it to you okay but somebody is expecting that you were going to wait for them or that they could come back to you and for some of you, I was getting that it's been like three months or six months or nine months or five years. Take what resonates, right? Since you've spoken to a specific person or since you've spoken to certain people, like maybe groups of people, and it was feeling like these people were checking you, your social media or like checking up on you or thinking about you. And they're realizing that you're happy without them. And they didn't think that you could be happy at all if they weren't in your life. They thought that you needed them. And the fact is, the truth of the matter is that you never needed them and you will never need them. We don't need anybody to complete us. We don't need anything. Everything that we need is already within us. And these people thought that you were like desperate or I don't know, maybe that you thought that you were worthless or you didn't think that you were good enough. And maybe you did in the past. And maybe these people were able to manipulate and abuse you in the past, but not anymore. Not who you are today listening to this reading or not who you're going to become in the future once this reading plays out, okay? I'm just getting the word jealous. You may be hearing that a lot or seeing that a lot or experiencing that a lot, but truly that's a big message right now. There is some jealousy going on, six of wands with the queen of wands because you look good and because you're not phased by the pressure. Some people are like being put under pressure right now. I can feel it. The collective is being put under pressure. I'm hearing the word pressurized and I'm hearing that diamonds are formed under pressure and you're one of the diamonds one of those chosen ones, so to speak, one of the 144, one of the earth angels, whatever you resonate with. But yeah, the Knight of Wands here. Something foreign could be coming up as well. And I'm getting that you stand out. Maybe you're the foreigner, whether you're actually foreign to a place or not. There's something about your energy that's foreign to people where you go. So some of you may like to travel or there may be travel coming up for you because your energy needs to be exposed to these areas. You just need to be present. You just need to exist. Whether you trigger them, whether they love you, whether they're numb or blind to you, not your problem, not your responsibility. Your job is to just exist and be real and be yourself because there's something very like unique about our energy that I'm tapping into. And it feels like we're meant to shake some shit up. We're meant to cause some stress, cause some people to think about things, cause some people to go within. Like it's just the power that we possess. We make people think. We do. Whoever I'm reading for, I'm hearing we because we're a part of this together. I, you, we. Always. Tell me more about what's going on, spirit. They want me to tell you exactly why people are jealous. The number 444 could resonate as well. What's the jealousy about? Mm. It's because it feels like you have options. 
The Seven of Cups represents confusion, and it's because these people are confused about where to go in life and what to do in life and how to maneuver life and how to just go with the flow, and you seem to do it so easily and so naturally. For some of you, I'm getting that you could be in the public eye, and maybe that comes easily to you, that comes naturally to you, and people are very confused about this. And some people are trying to remember the old you, and they're like, the old so-and-so from the collective would never have acted like this, would never speak like this, would never be so confident. So what changed? What happened? And that's where the jealousy is coming from, because they didn't think that you could be happy on your own. They didn't think that your desires were ever going to be fulfilled. They didn't think that you had the courage, the tenacity, the faith, the bravery to go after what you wanted in life, because they don't possess that within themselves at this current moment. So it's hard for them to see anybody in their exterior doing what they want to do right? Whoever I'm speaking to today, it feels like you have dreams being fulfilled in this current moment. Like your manifestations are coming in, your dreams and your desires are happening, and you're starting to really like believe that and have faith in that and just keep walking towards that. And it feels like people around you are so confused. Like, how did that happen? And because they're confused and can't figure it out, automatically it has to be voodoo. It has to be witchcraft. You have to be crazy. It has to be fake because they can't wrap their head around it. For them, it's irrational, right? But it's an irrational fear is what Spirit just said. And some of these people are controlled by fear is really what it is. They can't move forward because they feel controlled by fear. And maybe you felt like that in the past too, but I'm hearing whoever I'm speaking to today, you woke up or you're waking up. You're woke to the joke is what I'm getting. The joke is the fear. The fear is a joke and you're woke to the joke. Hello, baby. Okay, period. Let's keep it going. We got the six of wands. And I think that that's a message for you as well. Spirit saying, keep it going. Keep your eyes focused on the prize. Keep your focus where you need to be going, right? There's something here about not looking back because you're no longer going that direction. But there is this feeling of nostalgia popping up. So you may be seeing signs from your childhood, like through movies or through different forms of media or just like in the street or on signs or things like that. I feel like there's something about your childhood or your early adulthood that could be like coming back up for some of you. And it's to show you how far you've come. And you're not turning your back on it, so to speak, but it is behind you. The way I'm reading this, this character has their back face to every other card that we've pulled so far. So it's kind of just like you're moving forward and you're leaving the past in the past. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay, they're ready to clarify with a different deck, but we are playing the Queen of Wands again, which is beautiful energy, regardless of your gender, I read for everybody. You all know that by now, but if you don't, I read for everybody, there is no discrimination here. The Queen of Wands energy is just about, like, confidence in who you are, and believing in your power, and believing in your magic, and that's what you're doing right now, and that's what the guidance is, because you are very magical. And for some of us, that word has been coming up a lot lately, like, magic, because things are very magical right now, it's a very magical time for us, for us to be tapping into. I'm hearing use the magic for you or make the magic work for you. It's kind of like something about a system. And I feel like I'm hearing something about a black sheep in the matrix and you've broken out of this like system. You're making the system work for you and some people feel very confused because they feel trapped by the system. This could be any sort of system. I don't know what that means specifically, but it could resonate differently for a lot of people. I'm just seeing like people are feeling very stuck and very consumed by a system and they don't know where to go. It just feels like things are repeating themselves. It's confusing. They don't know how to get out of it. And you seem to have broken free from it. And that's where the jealousy is coming from because you're confident and because you're going out, because you're socializing, because you're putting yourself out in the world, because you're creating, because you're having fun, because you're laughing. And that's like pissing them off. Seriously, they feel like, what? they feel less than now. They feel trapped. They feel scared. They feel confused. And again, none of this is your responsibility and none of this is your fault but I feel like this is going on right now is I just see it and I feel like you're not even faced by it anymore it's just like a part of the pressure right I'm hearing you perform really well under pressure but there's something different about this pressure it's like it doesn't feel like pressure is what I'm getting like you obviously know that you're under some sort of like pressure cooker there is some sort of pressure on you especially if you're in the public eye there's like pressure for you to perform pressure for you to show up pressure for you to maintain an image but i almost feel like you don't care because as long as you're authentic you'll be fine as long as you're real and you're a human and you do what you need to do and say what you need to say you'll be fine you know that you have faith in that whoever i'm speaking to but there's something here about the pressure doesn't feel like pressure i'm hearing it feels like stardom or it feels like success or it feels like expansion it feels like right does that make sense i'm getting something about like the camera being on you and like maybe for other people it feels like a pressure like oh my god i have to perform i have to be a certain way i have to act differently but when the camera's on you 
it just like enhances who you are you're still you but it's like a better version of you you're just giving like more of yourself to the camera or something like that it's like something clicks within you and you're like yeah i got this i'm hearing you were born for this you were born for the camera you were born for stardom for some of you obviously that's not for everybody so take what resonates but that's what i'm getting some of you just need to be encouraged and i'm getting that you were encouraged growing up and so now there's something here about encouraging yourself motivating yourself okay you're self-motivated or you're self-made the number 10 25 could be significant holy shit sorry everybody but the first card we just got to clarify the knight of wands is also the knight of wands so something is in alignment you are in alignment your dreams your wishes your goals they're in alignment you're in alignment to them and i just keep getting something about being on the right path you're taking the right course of action especially if this has to do with moving or traveling that's the right thing for you to do right now that's in alignment to what i'm seeing in the cards so that's what i'm seeing for some of you this is the past maybe you just got back from traveling and now you're trying to figure out what to do next and it feels like you are going to settle down somewhere and like create from all of the travel experience that you just got or something like that like maybe you're going to write a book or poetry or music or you're just going to be inspired in a different way to do something else that helps you to create more for yourself hopefully that makes sense can you clarify the seven of cups yeah the ace of wands in the reverse this is about the jealousy again in the magician in the reverse these people feel like their magic isn't working because they're using their magic for bad and i don't know how to explain that because i don't truly believe that anything is like good or bad i believe that things just are and we get to assign whether it's good or bad personally but there's something here about them using their they're using their magic to like hurt people or to harm people or to um, manipulate energy in an in like a negative way again so to speak i just can't think of a better word for that but it's like they see that your magic is working they see that you're succeeding and you're naturally evolving and ascending and glowing and healing and all of the things like you've been moving up you've been doing the work to move up you've been in the gym shooting like kobe moving up practicing preparing all of the things and a lot of people don't know what goes on behind the scenes for you is what i'm getting like a lot of people don't know what you go through what you hear what you see what you experience because you kind of just like take it on the shoulder you learn from it you integrate the lesson and you just keep moving it's nobody's business is what i'm getting but these people like they share all of their business everywhere to everybody and they're always looking for advice they're always looking for outside validation whoever these people are and that's why they're jealous of you because you don't need it i feel like these people are only only in your energy because you're supposed to be teaching them something but you don't have to directly do it your energy your existence your social media whatever it is that's what teaches them you lead by example and they have to integrate it as their own lesson for themselves but yeah you're a teacher for them in a sense in a way but i'm getting that that's why they're jealous because it feels like magic works for you or you make the magic or the system work for you and they can't but it's because they're trying to manipulate it and you're trying to use it for the benefit of yourself and everyone around you yeah these people are very like selfish and only about themselves like they do not care about anybody else they, they will win at all costs is what i just heard yeah I'm hearing hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And these people are trying to do like some black magic or evil type sinister shit is what I'm getting. Like horror movie type stuff is what they're trying to manifest in your life or in other people's lives. And they don't understand that there are consequences for that. And the moon is a reflection and things do come back to you. What you give is what you get. That's the law of karma. And these people don't seem to understand that that they're like living out a manifestation that they tried to send to other people. They're living out a simulation that they tried to project onto others. And it's truly just fear-based. Yeah. I'm hearing everything has a cost. I'm hearing pretty penny. Today I found a penny and last night spirit told me before I went to bed that every penny counts. Every penny counts, especially for my earth signs listening to this, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you need that message. Every penny counts. It's all a part of your wealth. It really is. And some of you are slowly building wealth and you will be wealthy in this lifetime regardless of whether you're an earth sign or not you can take that message but i was just getting something about like a pretty penny every penny counts and then i found a penny it was heads up so i took it if you don't know you can take the heads up one apparently according to superstition is that the word according to superstition i don't know whatever according to lore you can take the heads up pennies and the tails up you leave down you leave it on the ground Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Let's talk about the Six of Wands. The Magician. 
keeps popping up for me. This magician keeps wanting to be heard. And I'm getting that that's what the jealousy is about too. They feel like they're not being heard. They feel like there isn't any space for them but they have to learn something. And I'm hearing you can't make it okay for them or you can't do it for them. You can't go in there and be like, here's the answer. It's okay, baby. It's fine. It's all all right. Da, 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 da. And that's what they want. They want someone to come in and do it all for them, show them the way, pick them up, whatever, like move them on to the next level so they don't have to do anything. And you've been in the gym practicing, shooting, doing what you got to do. I feel like turning the cards over because they're just loud and I keep hearing them. So the jealousy might be loud right now. The rumors might be loud. The gossip, the hearsay, it might be loud right now. But you know you're that bitch if you cause all that conversation. That's what Beyonce said. So that's that. Ten of Wands, the hard part of a situation is over. The hard part is behind you now. This nostalgia, like I said, is only popping up to show you how far you've come. And I'm also getting that you guys are going to be receiving some sort of like messages or tarot readings or signs about what's to come for you in the next six months. And I'm getting that there's a lot of change happening for you in the, in the next six months. The Empress, right? You're going from the Six of Wands to the Empress. Again, regardless of your gender, this is all about like receiving love, receiving recognition, receiving gifts, receiving adoration. And as I'm getting that people like really respect you, people really respect you in the near future. They already do, but look at the Queen of Wands. You're like elevating and people can see it. They're like, wow, I love your energy. I love your energy is what I'm hearing. That's like such a compliment. And I feel like you're going to be receiving a lot of compliments in the near future. And people are really looking to you to lead something, to lead an organization, to lead a group, to lead a community, to just be a leader by existing, whatever it might be, I feel like that's happening in the near future. You're just like stepping into a really powerful leadership role. It's giving like God, goddess energy, not to give you a big ego, but it's giving like goddess, God energy. You're radiating and giving off that energy. People can see the divine in you and it makes them feel closer to themselves. I'm gonna leave this by talking about something that happened in my meditation the other day. So I do protection work every single day because I know that people send me evil eye on a regular basis. I'm not afraid of it or anything like that, but I do protection work for myself every single day. And it's personal to me, so please don't ask, but I'm just gonna give you like a little bit of a gist of what I saw while I was doing my protection work in my meditation the other day. I saw this like black shadowy energy that had a face and it kept getting really close to like my bright light and I was existing in like this pod of like white pure light that's very cleansing. It's a giant light source and it, it goes out through my crown, out through my feet. I'm existing in this orb of like bright white light, right? And there's this dark shadow energy that has a face and it keeps getting closer to my light. But every time it does, something scares it or it doesn't feel like it can get too close to me. And so it like goes back to where the darkness is even darker. So it feels more comfortable because that's where it exists. That's where it comes from, right? And then it keeps making loops back around and back around and back around, like repeating this loop of getting closer and closer to my light, but not wanting to fully go into light because it's scary, right? Because it's unknown. They don't know what's in there. They don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to die? Are they going to burn up? Like what, right? But eventually, time after time after time, my meditation goes on and I see them finally like slip through the white light, they slip through the cracks and they feel so like pure and they feel so cleansed and so healthy. And then they're able to recognize that all of that is within them. And so then they become their own light source. And it was just such a beautiful way of like seeing the transformation that's going on in the collective right now, but also that has gone on, with, gone on within myself, right? So that could be something that's going on right now. You're meant to show these people the light. You're meant to be the light in a dark, dark space. And so that means that there's going to be a lot of like dark energy, negativity, gossip, hearsay, jealousy, all of that's going to exist. All your job to do, all your job is, is to coexist within the darkness and coexist within the chaos. You're doing just fine. Your purpose is literally just to exist and shine your light be the light okay so i hope that this message helped you i'm sending you love as always take care of your beautiful self stay hydrated and i will see you next time